How's it going YouTube? Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, today's video, I'm going to do a start to finish of the um, DNA testing kit 23andMe. So, I ordered it on the Black Friday sale and I've got the um, Ancestry and Medical Traits thing, which is like, there's two to get and that's like the better one. So it comes like this. Yeah, so uh, we're going to give it a go. I've always wanted to do one of these because it, I think it'd be interesting just to sort of see how it works and little bits and pieces. So it's like a reg oh, you've got to register it. Keep that safe. And that's it. That's it. This is a DNA testing kit. Now, this isn't like a uh, a parent in one or anything like that to find out, you know, it's not like a Jeremy Kyle sort of thing. What's this? Oh, that's a bag, it's a specimen bag, so it must have to go in that uh, afterwards. That'd be interesting. This is it. Filter line. I don't know if you can see that. Right, let's have a look below. We gotta fucking fill that up with. Right, no food or drink thirty minutes. Yeah, easy. Spit to fill line. Fucking it. Oh hang on. Yeah. Okay. So that's actually hollow. <laughs> I thought that was the whole thing. It's not, it's actually there to there. That's that tiny little bit. We can do that. So you spit to fill line. Oh, there's like a liquid in there. Then you close the funnel. All right, so should we uh, drop the fucking bag on the floor now? Oh, bastard. I'll probably contaminate the fuck out of that now, aren't I? All right. So, uh, all right. Fucking hell. I'm gonna be all fucking day, my mouth's all dry. Oh, fuck me. I think what I'm gonna have to do is uh, fill this up off camera um, and then we'll crack on. Uh, we have the rest of the video. I think we'll do it like that. Fucking hell. And we're back, guys. This is it. I think we've got one more spit. That's taken me fucking ages to do this. Now, yeah. Yeah. So I've done that to the fill line. Now, I was expecting um, like a cotton bud. Uh, in the mouth and send that in but uh, it comes with a decent amount of instructions I was reading the instructions are actually printed on the inside of the box so they're there as well um, so yeah so now I filled that up then we've got to close the funnel now there's a liquid in here so we're gonna there's that oh shit Right. Uh, detach funnel and screw on cap. Right. Got ourselves a lid. Right, let's have a little look. Don't fucking get this everywhere. The chemical in it is mixing with the uh, DNA. Look at that. It's gone all uh, spacey. All right. Seal in a bag. 
Hopefully this bag's all right because I dropped it on the fucking floor. Make sure that's tight. Also done my over tighten it so I crack the fucking thing. Now what I'm going to do is you've got to register it. So I'm not going to actually uh, seal it in the box in front of you because I might need to take the information uh, off of the actual tube itself. Yeah, so I'm going to get that in the post first thing tomorrow morning and the next part of the video is going to be my results. Now it's taken me around two weeks to get this in the post. Um, obviously it's come from overseas. I'm going to be sending it back to... Where's it going? The Netherlands. So it's going to go back to the Netherlands and in that little sample that I've just given there is uh, my DNA and they're going to tell me a full history of my ancestry and um, any medical bits and pieces. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited about it. I'm quite excited about it. So we'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to get that sent off now. And the next part of the video is the results. Hello everybody. It's the 6th of January and I've got my results back. It's been a long time coming. Uh, so I've printed this off myself, off of the website. Um, now, it's a lot more detailed than what I was expecting. Um, it looks like it's actually really, really good. So I'm just going to give you like a basic rundown uh, of all the, the, you know, the bits and pieces. Um, so I went for the full package, which does the ancestry and the health and all the other little bits and pieces. And on the health risks, genetic health risks report, I have two highlighted reports of nine reports available. So. I have a slightly increased risk of late onset Alzheimer's disease and a hereditary homochromo something I can't even fucking pronounce it. Uh, so basically like a some chromosome thing. Now when I googled it, it's um, basically too much iron uh, in the blood. Um, which can cause all sorts of fucking shit. Um, so it says variant detected, not likely an increased risk. So that's all right. Then the other ones, uh, Parkinson's disease, uh, alpha one base uh, deficiencies, uh, celiac disease, thumbo stuff. I can't even, this is all two big words for me. Variants not detected on all the other bits and pieces so that's good um, a wellness report alcohol flush reaction now I googled that because I, I thought I knew what it was and I just wanted to check and that's basically uh, when people have a few glasses of wine or whatever and they go bright red um, I've never had that problem and it says unlikely to flush so that's 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 right caffeine consumption likely to consume less now I like a cup of tea and fizzy drinks and stuff like that, but I'm not massive on coffee, but there's still caffeine in tea. Uh, so I don't know about that one. Now deep sleep, less likely to be a deep sleeper. Now weirdly enough, uh, not long ago I got the Fitbit Charge 3 and I've been wear wearing that just to help me with calories and just got sucked into the shit and I I don't deep sleep at all I'm always in REM sleep and light sleep so uh, that's good uh, genetic weight predisposited to weigh more than average yeah lactose intolerance likely tolerant yeah I've got no problem with that right muscle composition Common in elite power athletes. Now I checked that out. Um, I actually contacted a friend of mine um, 
who, while at university, has done doctor's degrees in the body and all sorts of shit, had a quick chat. And basically what that means is, is that my muscle tissues, my muscle type, uh, which has been picked up in, in the DNA, is the same as, as, the, as athletes who do long distance running, sprinting, uh, javelin, uh, boxing, bits and pieces like that, fast paced. So that's interesting. Um, so that's me thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get all buffed out like the rock. Probably won't fucking happen looking at that. Uh, sleep movement. Likely average or less movement. Yeah, I can pretty much go to sleep in one position and wake up. Oh, I sort of went to sleep. Right, then this is the main one. The fuck was that? Uh, the main one. Uh, ancestry reports. One highlighted report of five reports available. Right. Now, I am 100% European. So, British and Irish, 79.6%. My mum's English and my dad was Irish when he was alive. It's picked up 11.8% French and German and 0.2% Scandinavian. Broadly, Northwestern European, 8.3%. So, uh, yeah, I don't come from anywhere else. I'm just, my lot didn't really uh, travel a lot by the looks of it. We just sort of stayed local. <laughs> Neanderthal ancestry. I have 259 variants, less than 72% of 23andMe customers. Okay. And um, it's given me a the right now. This is actually a good one. It's picked up one thousand and fourteen DNA relatives of mine, <laughs> and one of them is actually um, the closest was a second cousin that is picked up on my dad's side of the family. Now I don't talk to that side of the family, so uh, it's hard for me to sort of check that one out. But uh, I've been talking to people in America, Canada, New Zealand. Um, I've just been going through all these different people who share my DNA that are relatives and stuff, you know. And it makes you think, I've never heard of these people. They're like third cousins, fourth cousins on this side of the family and on that side of the family. And it's weird how it, it shows you a, a diagram of, of roughly where they've come from and what side of the family and everything else. It's really, really good. Never heard of these people. Don't recognise the surnames whatsoever. But it makes you think. How many people out there could you have slept with or done stuff with and you, you're actually a fucking distant relative because you know I've got 1014 these are just people that have done 23 and me just that there's no one else um, you know there could be more thousands of, uh, of, of people out there um, so it's definitely <laughs> I think this is worth doing They've been really, really good. Um, I've been following everything. There isn't an app, as far as I know. I'm not. A, if there is, I haven't come across it. I've been looking on their website, and they've told me step by step all the bits and pieces. So when I posted it off, uh, I got a notification to say that it had been scanned at Royal Mail. Uh, when it got to its destination, uh, I was notified about that. Uh, when it was in the line, when it was being tested, when it was being checked, when it was being double checked, they've been really good. And it's like a bar. It goes across the top of the screen and it's got everything on it and it'll tell you everything you want to know and there's also loads of tutorials as well so if you're not um, sure on little bits and pieces um, you can click a tutorial and it will tell you all about that and it'll teach you a little bit more on it and it'll give you links to other little bits and pieces and it's, it is it's a good little community um, but it's good I found it <coughs> excuse me I found out that my main uh, DNA ancestry has come from 
Celtic, Saxon and Viking DNA uh, areas. So maybe that's why I've got a, yeah. That's, that's, this is a Viking bit. Maybe that's like a Celtic, no, fuck knows. But uh, it's good. So if you're thinking about doing uh, a, a DNA thing, I would say 23andMe is definitely the best one. I religiously look now. You're, if you're, you know, if you're searching for stuff like this, if you're watching this video, um, then you're obviously doing research. What I did now. There's a lot of videos on 23andMe that have got all these diagrams, and they show you the website, and they clip in. I'm no good at any of that shit. I can't even get my uh, Adobe After Effects to work. You know, I'm watching videos of fucking kids teaching me how to fucking fix stuff now, you know. Um, yeah, I'm nearly 37. I'm in the older fucking group. I'm no good for that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so there's no intros. There's none of this fancy shit. I'm just telling you, just one person to another. From what I could see, there's the Ancestry.com isn't as advanced, but like detailed-wise, as what 23andMe is. They'll, they will show you a map of regions of like where you've come from and where ancestors are and and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, for me, I'm glad, I'm glad I did it. I would wait, you know, if I paid 170 quid, then there's a 10 pound uh, shipping thing on that as well, which I wasn't aware of at the time. Um, I probably would have been, oh, all right, okay, but it was 100 quid. Um, so I got the full one for the price of what just a, a standard ancestry thing was and a Black Friday deal. Definitely have a look for around Father's Day. I've noticed they do deals on Father's Day because last year in 2018 they'd done a real good deal. It was half price and I, and I missed out on it. Fucked it up. Um, so I went to Black Friday. They've got one on. There isn't a January sale on it. I haven't seen a January one because uh, I did have a look. But just, just keep checking their Facebook page, keep going on the website, uh, and just keep checking it out. And all, every now and then they'll do like a flash off, where it's like 70 quid off, 80 pound off, all these different little bits and pieces. Go on there, check it out. It's really, really good. The website is so detailed, it is unreal. Um, what I'm telling you now, there's a lot of stuff I've kept out because um, it goes into detail uh, about blood groups, um, all these code numbers in DNA strands and stuff like that. I don't really understand it all, and I'm not even sure if somebody should have that information or what. Um, but yeah, I've got the full report here, and I'm really, really happy with it. It's worth the money for me. So if you've had it done, or you're going to have it done, comment below. Uh, see if we can get a discussion about it and see how everybody found it. Um, this might not be for everybody. This might not be for everybody at all. This might be complete shit. Um, as I said, you know, I've had to Google a lot of this stuff to find out what the fuck's going on. Um, because I'm not really good with all these massive, long, scientific words. So I was like, okay. But yeah. I like it. So I fully recommend 23andMe. And I hope you like the video. If you've got this far, please like and please subscribe. Um, I want to get a load of subscribers. I want to get one of those uh, big plaque things. Be good. Right, so thank you everybody for watching. I'll have some more videos uh, on probably different subjects another time soon. Bye-bye.